What up though, it's Philip J. Today, I'm gonna show you how to connect your MacBook to your monitor. MacBooks are great laptops for graphic design, video editing, music, and all sorts of daily activities. However, most MacBooks come with a 13 inch display and that, that size is not gonna be enough if you're working on large projects and you need multiple windows open. That's why it's great if you have a dual monitor setup where you can use your MacBook and the monitor to increase productivity and efficiency. You'll need four things, a MacBook, adapter, dongle, video cable, and a monitor. New MacBooks only come with USB type C's, but you won't see a lot of USB type C video cables, keyboards, mices, and external hard drives. That's why you'll need an adapter, or sometimes it's called a dongle. Adapters are devices you plug into your computer and they adapt themselves to the different ports on the other side to provide functionality. Here's the adapter that I use. On one end, it has a USB Type-C that I use to connect to my MacBook. And then on the other end, you have a regular USB that I use to connect to my mouse. You have a video cable input, which is HDMI, which I use to connect to my monitor. And you have another USB Type-C. When selecting an adapter, Make sure it has a USB Type-C on one end and then a video input port. Now this video input port needs to match what's on your monitor. So your mo look at the back of your monitor and check the type of video ports it has. It could be HDMI, VGA, DisplayPort, DVI. You also have options to get a cable that has a different end. So you can get HDMI on one end and then a DisplayPort on the other. So do your research before buying it. I'm gonna leave links in the description for cables and adapters that I suggest. The monitor I'll be using in this video is the Lenovo Q24i-10. The first thing you'll wanna do is connect your adapter to your MacBook. Then connect your video cable to your adapter and monitor. With the cable connected to both ends, turn on the monitor if it already isn't turned on. But if it doesn't, go in the input settings and check out where you plug cable into. On mine, I have two inputs, HDMI and VGA. I will select HDMI. And that's it, you'll see your MacBook screen on your monitor. I can open up applications, and then I can actually drag them over to my monitor and use them there. To make a full screen, just go on the edge and drag it out. Simultaneously, I can open up another application on my MacBook and multitask. Let's say I open up my calendar, and then just drag it over to my MacBook. So I actually be able to work on this screen. You can arrange your monitor settings by going to the Apple menu on the top left, hitting system preferences, then displays. In display tab, you can change the resolution for your monitor and laptop, either default or scaled. In the arrangement tab, you'll find two boxes that represent the laptop and monitor. The small box is MacBook because it's 13 inches and my monitor is bigger box at 24 inches. You can also find which box is by clicking on them. A red colored box will appear around the display you click on. The arrangement of these two boxes should be to your setup. So on my left side is my MacBook and on my right side is my monitor. So these two boxes should be flipped over. There we go. Now this way I can actually scroll from this side, the left side, from my MacBook all the way to the right side, which is my monitor. You see how the mouse can actually transition from one side to the other? Now let's say if these were flipped over, what would happen? I'm going to drag the calculator app to my monitor. As you can see, it actually stops where the mouse is. And that's because the monitor on the arrangement here is to the left side of the MacBook. So if I move it to the left side, here it actually appears on this side. And then it stops. So this can actually get very confusing. So make sure you arrange these two boxes according to the placement of your MacBook and monitor. Our current setup is called extended displays. That means we can work on both of these as if they are one large display and just drag anything we want over. Let's say you wanna have the same image on your MacBook and monitor. That means you want mirrored displays. To get the mirrored displays, you'll actually see 
a click button here that says mirror displays and all you have to do is click it. As you can see, anything that I do on one screen will be duplicated on the other. So let me open up the internet. As you can see, same thing. Also, you'll notice you'll have all the applications that are on your MacBook on the internet as well. So any folders you have here and directories will be shown on the monitor this time. So you won't have to drag them over from one to the other. What if you want your monitor to be your main display? Then all the desktop icons and apps will appear on your monitor and you don't have to keep dragging them over. All you have to do is drag this white menu bar to the big box. And then you'll actually see it here. All the desktop icons and apps are on my monitor and they're not on my laptop. And then when I switch between displays, it actually switches on the monitor and not the laptop itself. The last thing I will show you is how to close your laptop lid and still work on your monitor. The monitor will act as a desktop, so you can move it out of the way and use external mouse and keyboard for the monitor, but still have that Mac operating system. All you have to do is plug in your charging cable into the MacBook. So here's mine, make sure it's also plugged in the wall, and then just plug it here. The arrangement settings don't matter when you do this, so you can just close the laptop and here it is. You can still use the monitor. All the applications will open up normally and the monitor will stay closed and you will be able to put it out of the way. And that's it everybody. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like and comment. All the products that I talked about in this video will have links in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you.